Hey folks, welcome back to Biscuits Told to War and first of all, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Now, quick a little apologies to any people who have been watching my videos for some time now. I actually haven't put up a video in the last few days. Uh, usually I put up about two or three videos even a week. Uh, it's pretty much been going down to one video per week and the reason being, I'm actually in the process of selling my current house, uh, getting a new house and a new house that we're looking to get is actually physically being built. Um, so, you know, a lot of things going on in the background and unfortunately it means that I can't play as much Rome Total War goodness as I'd potentially like to. So this replay we've got here is a replay that I did from last week. And it's a two versus two. I've got myself playing as the Scipii and I'm bringing uh, my standard build which consists of six Praetorian Cav, uh, two Archers, one Legion of Fresh Cohort to my General and then the rest glorious urban cohorts and I'm going to be playing alongside Annabor and I haven't seen this guy online for some time a uh, big thank you to this guy for jumping online and giving us a game um, he was sitting in the steam lobby I was trying to drum up some business to get a good two versus two going and Annabor said he'd throw his hat into the mix and come and join us and he's bought these Seleucids now Seleucids always find a really tricky um, faction to use it's all about the Calafrax if you're going to do any devastation any mass killing it's going to move on these six units so uh, Annabelle's brought six cataphracts uh, I think he's actually brought quite a few legendary first um, sorry silver shield legendaries uh, which aren't common but he's brought quite a few of them it's almost a 50-50 mix between silver shield legendaries and silver shield pikemen so quite interesting to see how this one's going to come out now we're going to be going up against two great 31k players, a guy called Parker who is using the uh, Julii faction. Now Parker, he used to be uh, quite an active member in the Rome Total War community, I haven't seen him online for some time, again we managed to grab him from Steam and he joined us on this 2 versus 2. He is bringing the Julii faction and he has brought a nice standard 6 Praetorian cab and 14 Urbans and he's going to be joined alongside a Brotherhood member a guy called a terrible Turk and he has brought one two three uh, companion cab looks like two Cretan archers no one two three or maybe even four no three Cretan archers and the rest roll pikemen so uh, opening gambit what's going to happen is I'm going to go towards the Julii my Seleucid ally is going to go towards the Macedonians initially I thought we might mix it up I thought I'd potentially go for the Macedonians and he would go for the Romans but it looks like I'm going to go primarily for those Julii and just hope that my ally uh, Annabelle will be able to actually go toe to toe against the Macedonians on paper Mastodon should really be able to potentially beat the Seleucids I believe um, you know this Macedonians got better pikemen in my opinion they've also got a faster cav better um, kind of prefer the, uh, the Macedonian cab opposed to the Seleucids cab and the reason being with the uh, Macedonian cab you can afford to make mistakes um, they've got more well-rounded army um, and also you've got some great archers you've got the Crescent archers so the Seleucids are slowly making their way towards these Macedonians as you can see they're in a tight formation there's no point in them being a loose formation and what they're going to do, they're going to get in close, jump into Testudo, um, put guard mode on and really try and mess up the formation and the ranks of the, the Macedonians. In the meantime, on this side of the battlefield, what I'm doing, I'm coming in the flank here. I've got one, two, three, four, five units in loose formation. I'm going to try and uh, win the Peeler duel here by taking out their loose formation. And before these guys went into Testudo, I was chucking a few volleys of Peeler. As you can see, this unit's down to 68, that one's down to 64, 71, and 73. So I managed to catch them off guard before they went into Testudo. Uh, my guys are up to 80, 82, 82, uh, 76. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've come off much better when it comes to this initial peeler duel. And again, when it comes to Rome vs. 1, it's always about the peeler duel. It's always about trying to throw peeler into the tight formation unit and try and minimize any effect. Now, as you can see, the enemies launched all their cav onto my flank. 
and that's given a chance to Annabelle just to really try and mess around the flank here and try and distract the enemy. So the Julii Cav has moved all their Cav onto this flank to try and push away the Seleucids. Again, we have the, the Cav advantage. Potentially they've got the infantry advantage as they've got the Macedonian Royal Pikemen. And what they've tried to do is peel off some of these Royal Pikemen to try and support the Julii here to prevent me from getting my Cav and charging them through the centre. Also, because I've got two archer units, I've got less infantry than my Julii enemy. So I really need to make sure that I don't mess up my infantry or mess up my cab charges. I want to make sure that we hold that cab supremacy, we hold the archer supremacy, but I don't want to mess up the infantry because no matter how much cab we've got left, if we've got no infantry left, we're going to be paying the consequences on the latter end of this battle. So I've pushed all my infantry onto this flank here. Again, I'm throwing my peeler into all of these units here. I'm throwing them into the Royal Pikemen. I'm throwing them into the Julii units, trying to just whistle down their numbers. And whilst their cavs stand still, what I'm using, I'm using my archers here, just to try and gun down a few units here and there. Now, what I've gone here, I've gone in for a little cab strike. I've also peeled off a couple of my urbans. I uh, put my urbans here. The reason being, I'm conscious that their cab will go to do a counter charge on my guys. So I'm just going to peel off a couple of urbans, stick them here and basically use them as a meat fodder so I can try and route these two Julii units and if any cav charges come in here hopefully I can get my cav out and if they come in they're going to get snagged upon this urban unit here. So I'm charged in here, unfortunately I haven't been able to do the damage that I wanted to do so I'm going to have to peel off. Now here we go, in comes the Julii cav, they're going to try and go for my cav as I said, I've got my infantry unit here just trying to hold their ground. These guys are in guard mode. Uh, they're going to hold their ground, but they're going to rout pretty quickly because, look, they've got six Praetorian Cav charging straight into them. I'm now going to pull off my Cav, and now I'm going to go in for another charge here. And what I wanted to do is try and catch this Julii unit off. Now, again, a bit of a blunder here because uh, the Julii units are nice and thick here. Look, they've got one, two, three units here. They've also got more units in here. So although I can maybe charge into these guys, I'm not going to be able to do too much damage. Also, what's going to happen now, the Julii and the Macedonian Cav are going to see this, and they're going to come in with a counter charge. I throw it in my general here to try and boost them around, and I'm trying to frantically pull back my Cav. Now, pause for two seconds. Normally, with most two versus twos, what would have happened here is that the my ally, the Seleucid player, would have potentially charged his cab around to this side here and trying to do a hammer and anvil strike because um, they want to try and win their side of the battle. But Annabel, the seasoned player that he is in 31k, has done this perfectly. And when I mean perfectly, I mean perfectly. This is going to be a cab strike from these cataphracts without any errors. Hard to do this. I try and do this on a regular basis when I use the Seleucids. I always cock it up. I always mess it up. End up getting maybe a thousand kills. But what you're going to see is good old mass route. If you don't like mass routes, you're watching the wrong type of video here. Go and watch some CWB games. But this is going to be 31k. This is going to be mass routing coming straight down here. Let's like watch this. In comes these Seleucids. Zoom in here. Let's see if we can do a count here. We've got one route, two routes, three routes, four routes, five routes, six routes, seven routes, eight routes, nine routes. This is continuing going on. The Seleucids are pushing through. This is the train rack. It's going straight into these guys. This is the equivalent of you know, walking in front of a train. You're going to get absolutely fucked over. And unfortunately, these Julii units are just absolutely tumbling like dominoes. They're getting absolutely destroyed. My infantry units are holding in their lines. Um, all my guys are in guard mode. I'm chucking in a couple of little cab units here to uh, do a little bit of damage. But it's been an absolute train wreck. It's been absolutely devastation. Those poor Julii units have uh, been mass routed. Some of them have come back, but you know what? There's very little they're going to be able to do. The general is routed. Infantry have been absolutely obliterated. Um, all we need to do now is just pull all, pull all our infantry and cab onto this flank here. The Seleucids are pushing into their infantry. 
I'm using my archer fire into these guys. The general of the Mastodians is going to try and stand there and hold off this absolute tidal wave of Seleucid armor, smashing straight into them. It doesn't matter if their pikes are pointing towards those cab units. They've been absolutely decimated, absolutely destroyed. Um, Julian units are there. At the end of the day, Parker couldn't really done much there. He's going to pull back his cab and uh, try and kill a few of my guys. You know what? All I need to do is just stand still and just watch these Seleucids just cause havoc, devastation, absolutely shred these poor companion cabs. These poor Crescent archers are going to get an absolute ramming, got a mace being smashed into their skulls as we can see here. A couple of the Califracts have passed out, a couple of them have died, but that is pretty much it. The Seleucids, all the infantry are charging straight in. They don't need to do anything fancy, just run in and that's going to cause a little rout. So let's put this on to double speed. I think Parker's just trying to get a few little kills here, make sure his kill count doesn't look too bad. But just look at the pure devastation. I've lost a few infantry units, a few of them are routed as you can see. But the Seleucids have really taken on minimal casualties at the end of the day. Considering they were fighting superior pike units, and have really been able to pull off a really nice victory. So hats off to Hannibal. He gets the metaphoric hats off. Um, you know, I did okay. I got nearly 1,500 kills. But Seleucids, 1,800 kills. That's pretty good going. Parker, unfortunately, he's playing well. He hasn't played for some time. Um, you know, he's going to be a bit rusty. But there's nothing much he could have done against that Seleucids charge. That was pure epic. 31k at its best uh, the Macedonians they spread out their units I think they should have had a bit more cav in hindsight uh, terrible Turk is not a bad player at all only got an 882 kills and that's just down to that Seleucid mass route so folks as always I always appreciate your feedback I always appreciate your comments please leave a little thumbs up let me know what you thought of the replay Again, more 31k goodness due to come up on the channel relatively sh soon. And just thanks again for watching the video. Thanks again for your time. And we'll catch you guys soon for the next Roman Total War installment on Biscuits Total War. Thanks and bye now.